Konnichiwa bye, it's Ward and it's time to check out a new anime. This is a first for my channel that is watching a seasonal and publishing it, releasing it while it's coming out and not waiting forever while it sits on Patreon because let me tell you I'm about four months ahead right now still on Patreon but uh, from now on I will be doing seasonals as they come out starting with Dr. Stone one that Digibro has been raving about and I did watch uh, the video where he was talking about upcoming seasonals that he was looking forward to and this was one of them so I'm checking it out anyways you can watch along with me if you start the episode in 3, 2, 1, go and I'm showing part of the screen there so you can see if you're synced up or not just for a little bit yeah, everybody turned this down. Did you mention that uh, he was reading the synopsis? Uh, is it sound class? He got stopped uh, by the stone. Uh huh. That hair is crazy looking, you Mm hmm. Uh -huh. A little potion. Oh, he looks menacing, you yeah. know. Is it gonna work? Isn't that a waste? Pretty easy to tell who's the main character, huh? He was about to feed him gasoline? Uh -huh. This kid is too smart, yo. I was wondering that. Wouldn't he have died? Uh huh. He's kind of crazy, yeah. But yeah, they'll turn to stone right before it happens, huh? They're gonna have to wait a bit longer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Full power. <laughs> He's risking it all. Actually, I'm not... I don't think it would be that big of a deal if she turned him down. Or oh, mid-sentence. The world turned to stone. Cool. Everybody, huh? Damn, uh, rip. Can they shatter? <laughs> Chaos, yo. Yeah. All the animals are alive. Oh, they can still. Just the conscious? What? Uh, that's kind of messed up. If they just stay like that for forever, like uh, something out of JoJo. Interesting so far. Oh, 
I'd be more worried about ever coming back. Uh, damn, he stayed conscious for years. Decades. Man, that's crazy. He must have turned insane. He's got some willpower though. Beautiful art. And then they all turn back. Or at least one of them. Darker stone, that is. Oh, I think one of the animals uh, pulled them into the nest. Mm hmm. Suddenly he's naked as well. I guess it uh, was lashed onto the stone. You can barely grasp what happened. I'm surprised he's still acting like himself. Like, wouldn't you go insane if you were stuck in stone? For centuries. Lucky your body didn't break up like that, huh? Straight up Tarsen. It's a flashback. So it did happen to some animal beforehand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he admits being adult, huh? She was also gonna do it. What a creepy laugh. <laughs> Man's rip, though. Is she in one piece? Is he gonna like worship her like an idol now? It's kind of crazy. Oh, it's that same tree. It just became bigger, huh? Huh? The tree uh, protected her. Yeah, they couldn't see anything. What a terrible fate. Worse than death. I don't think she'll be able to hear you, dude. Uh -huh.
I mean, anybody would break down just waking up from this nightmare. Never mind somebody that didn't get to tell their crush that they loved them thousands of years ago. Something out of a Stephen King novel, maybe. You might get to tell her someday, though. Oh, that's from uh, Do his friend, uh, Dr. Stone, for sure. He knew he would uh, go back there. Right? I mean, I'm assuming that's bit Dr. Stone. Mm hmm. Thank you. They got some cool expressions here. Uh -huh. E equals MC2. He's been keeping track of the date. How? I guess maybe he calculated it somehow. He's so smart and all that. <laughs> 3,700 years. He was counting. Never mind. <laughs> counting the days. Without going insane. Every second, like what? You can't keep track of that. Get out of here. I almost lost consciousness. <laughs> he never stopped using his brain. Come on, this guy's inhuman, yo. Yeah. He's a genius. Oh, he's already started rebuilding. Oh, you need shelter. He's doing pretty well. A big muscle down meathead. Mm -hmm. 10 billion percent. After a few thousand years, really, a few thousand. Uh -huh. He's on board. This is cool, yo. Is it going to be very survivally? It's going to take a much shorter time. Sprint all the way to the top. <laughs> awesome. They both got their missions. Awesome. Adam and Eve. Uh -huh. Don't you need some women as well, though? I'll show the sub split again. So you can see if we're synced up or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knows all of the. <laughs> right out of Mario. Mm -hmm. He sure knows his uh, shrooms, yeah.
smart. South is pretty great. That's why I keep it uh, quite easily on hand. <laughs> Time to scavenge the other side. But yeah, I use it on most of the food I eat anyways. You should just go eating random berries, dude, when you have like the smartest guy around to help you out. He, that guy's a high schooler. Now that guy fit in uh, with jo in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, yeah. And I think he will wake up because he looks so special. Are you sure about that? It could be Senku. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty random why both of them would wake up instead of when nobody else. Very suspicious indeed. Oh, that's what's working up. Nani, <laughs> you had to yell at that. <laughs> Work, damn it. Man, it's got quite a crib already. Been doing lots of experiments. Would liquor speed it up? This is kind of educational, you know, isn't it? Mm hmm. At least he could recognize those. <laughs> He's really going at it. Yeah, you gotta have a taste, right? Uh huh. The oldest human alive. Well, moving around, anyways. Uh huh. How does his hair stay like that, huh? Huh? Damn, he knows everything, y'all. 
well, somewhat. <laughs> oh, it's over already? Montage. This is totally like those uh, educational videos. Well, not really educational, but on YouTube, uh, where they build huts and clay stuff, uh, like they did in the olden times. Now it's winter. Aren't we skipping all the fun parts? Damn, look at that guy. Looks manly as hell now. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta cover her up in case he wakes up. Maybe. What? Oh, he's uh, cutting his uh, beard. <laughs> well, so you should maybe get that one in the water out in case it wakes up. I don't know. I haven't wanted to wake up underwater. <laughs> of course, you might need that uh, sulfuric acid thing to wake up. Oh, is something going to happen? But yeah, it's been like a year all of a sudden-ish. It broke out. Oh, it's not over. Still. Are they going to get the whole bird? Pain in the ass effort. Nice. Hmm. So why did only some of the animals get hit? Because we saw like a boar and some other animals, uh, before. Gonna try it on humans next. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty fantasy. That whole world turned to stone all of a sudden. That was awesome. Uh, can't wait to see more of it, really. Very interesting premise, and I do love a good survival uh, story. But I'm sure that's not the end of it. I mean, if it's that simple, you could just make a bunch of that stuff and wake everybody up. There's going to be some more problems, I think. Some more fantasy, maybe. He's a cool main character, though. Probably the smartest one I've ever seen in an anime. Oh, is that the guy? Yeah, he was... Um, is he gonna be evil? Yeah, that's more the character. Does that guy look like he was soon up? And there is a girl. Yeah, I like their dynamic. Oh, what? Was that magic? Uh huh. Awesome. All right, there's a preview. King of the Stone World. Plants, animals, based on reality, um, extremely dangerous. Please do not imitate. <laughs> hey, now, I mean, some of it is useful. Making a hut. Oh, that's the end. That is really the end. 
Um, yeah, the timer is separate from the episode, if you didn't realize. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, very interesting. Uh, Dr. Stone. Never really heard about it until Digibo mentioned that. Uh, right, I will be watching more of it. If not the rest of it already, it's one of those anime where you can tell just after one episode how much you would enjoy it, that is. Uh, right, survival. I mean, they look to be surviving pretty easily, right? It's almost like they completed their quest, like... What else is there now, except for bad humans? I mean, surely some of those guys in the outro... Or is it intro, maybe? It seemed more like an intro, really. They seemed kind of uh, evil-looking. Especially that super buff guy. Uh, but yeah, I love the main characters. They uh, have a fun dynamic. And that's a great quest, right? Rebuilding humanity, conquering fantasy with science. I love it. Uh, and yeah, seeing like the primitive, the ways to survive in uh, the wilderness with primitive tools. I mean, no tools to begin with. I kind of wanted to see his very start. But Dr. Stone had already begun. I mean, we barely got to see any of it. They, like, skipped ahead a whole year, almost, it seems like. I guess it won't focus that much on their building survival stuff. I don't know. But plenty of science stuff. I love that. How much uh, Dr. Stone knows, apparently. Why is he still in high school with his regular folks if he's uh, this much of a genius? He keep track of time for over 3,000 years? What? Who does that? It, I don't think, um, yeah, you gotta be like special. I saying there is the, you have like some kind of, it's not a condition, but whatever you call it, there's something different with your brain if you can do that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and I don't think it's possible. Well, I mean, there's people with like photographic memory and stuff. Oh, well, I shouldn't think too hard about it. It is fantasy after all. Will they ever explain what really happened? I wonder, because a lot of these stories tend to not really give us the whole picture in the end, but it seems promising enough, right? This first episode, at least. And a lovely art. Yeah, yeah, everything about it is a very cool. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, I really suggest you subscribe. And there's, well, not early access to this, or any other seasonal shows I will be doing from now on. Because I will be trying to do them and just release them right as I, after I record them. And not put them on Patreon, really. So I can cash in on that hype, yo. <laughs> Actually, I was feeling really discouraged because I was dropping a subscriber count because I started doing uh, timer reactions like this one, mostly. Instead of picture-in-picture. Uh, but hopefully this will make the sub count be, you know, rising instead of decreasing. <laughs> Can I have that? <laughs> That's all I want for in life. <laughs> no, but it is just a bit discouraging to see it go down. It, it's actually more discouraging than losing patrons, surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, there is early access to my other shows. I am about four months ahead on Patreon. Although I tend to, you know, I've been watching a lot of different stuff lately and starting testing out new shows. And you can also make me watch stuff there. You can make me watch anything. Even erotic things. I bet you nobody <laughs> lets you choose that on their Patreon, except for me. Okay. Of course, it will be with the timer if you insist on doing that, but it is an option. Uh, but you can make me watch up to 12 episodes of anime or something of equal length every month on Patreon. Or just one episode, um, if you do early access, that is. Uh, 
Ana Mayes. I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace.